Hello and bon jour. Be on your journey. We are in the 13th and final Bacton of the Mayan Long Count calendar. A Bacton is 144,000 turnings of the stars, the shars or days. Now, some of you are, from what I can gauge, have concerns about May the 15th, 2040 and the Phoenix event. That gives me a problem. The problem is fears and doubts collectively. Cause and effect. Be under no illusion that every thought that you create in your mind goes out into the field from your informed field. What you project out onto the external has an effect. This is why you have so many gatherings of Humans, collective energy. I'm sure many of you have experienced that feeling of being at a concert or a large gathering of people and just feeling the energy. So I would like to dispel a few fears. For this, you become Zachariah. Not as in stitching, stitching, misleading. But Zechariah in the sense of its meaning, which is God looks back. This is where you become a Time Lord. The Phoenix event is just under 18 years away. Now I wish, wish you to look back at your own journey to 18 years ago. Consider where you were then, where you were on your spiritual journey, compared to where you are now. Ask yourself this question. 18 years ago, did you imagine or envisage how your life would go that has brought you to this moment now? I use a walking stick, a natural one. It took 24 hours, or under 24 hours, to manifest. My soul sister Serena messaged me and said, I found the perfect stick for you, where, just where I stopped my car. And it is the perfect height, it is perfect. I can balance a bag on this bit here, it looks natural. But the point I'm showing you this is, I'm reflecting something, I'm on the last leg, the last part to heal. Now you can take these isometric projections, that same blueprint that Jason Brashears has shown on our KX channel, you can apply that to your own spiritual path. So I suggest you take now because there is only now, as your spiritual marker, you draw a line in the sand, as it were, metaphorically, and you say, this is my moment, this is my isometric marker. What I have gained through experiences, you've not made any mistakes along your journey, it has brought you to now. These life experiences are just chapters in an ongoing Akashic living record. Where will you go in 2040? Where will you head to? Irrelevant question. Do you really think that you will be the same being in 18 years time? When that Phoenix event comes, do you think that the environment will be the same as it is now. 
consider that you have mobile devices. They have circuitry inside them. When you download a new app, the circuits have not changed, they have just been reconfigured to allow for that new app. Now apply that same principle to yourself and your so-called junk or dormant inactive DNA. It is inactive and firewalled off for very good reason, but it will be activated as and when the conditions are right. That is in 2040. Where you place your focus and the things you put your energy into are what determine what you will draw towards you. So if you are having doubts and fears about what will become of you in 2040, I suggest you consider and weigh up very carefully what you are creating because fear feeds fear. Doubt feeds fear. But you can change that polarity. You can create a new abundant earth. You can see it, breathe it, feel it, live it. And you can start doing that now. Perhaps the easiest way but it will take effort is to do the language lessons of the heart and overwrite the system programming, break that generational cycle. Do not be an expression of, or a projection of somebody else's unfulfilled wishes of their own life. Take responsibility for your own life. Create your own reality within this reality. As I've said on previous videos, nothing has changed in the outside world. What has changed is the perception of that outside world. That changes the internal feelings inside. That changes the chemical makeup of these physical avatars. It puts it into a more alkaline balance when you are not feeding the negatives and you stay neutral. You allow what will be to just be. And in turn, you are just being. You are witnessing, you are experiencing, you are learning from those experiences. There is no actual good or bad as such. It is just purely perceptions. But it is worth weighing up, observing, asking yourself, would you want that done to you? Therefore, would you do it to somebody else? That can be a thought, a word or an action. You take responsibility for your own future when you take that step to do so. There is nothing to fear about the phoenix rising. It is something that, is, that happens every 138 years. That cannot be changed. But how you feel and what you project out from that feeling into this reality is going to very much determine what you draw towards yourself. That expression about you are your own worst enemy. You certainly are if you give in and listen to those emotions called doubt and fear. You can overwrite that with contentedness with joy, with bliss, with love. It involves a lot of facing unpleasant truths about yourself, going through that dark night of the soul, facing your shadow side, whatever term you wish to call it. But it is a step that is worth doing. I speak not from conception, I speak from experience, because I have done just that. 
and I wish to share that, I wish to dispel any doubts and fears. For my part, in this physical vessel, I am creating a world around me which I would like to link up with others of the same frequency that are also doing the same thing so we co-create, we co-operate in this realm. We transform this realm. At this present time of making this video in the year 5916 Mundi, or 2022 on the Anno Domini. <coughs> it looks horrific out there. It is by design. It is all to overcome fear. It is all to play the part of David versus Goliath. To take down those monsters that you create in your mind about which is based on your perception of this reality but you don't have to see it that way you have the power and the ability to change it start with something simple imagine finding a feather or a golf ball you choose what you want to find I said to Julia on Nature's uh, sorry, Simplicity Revealed channel, uh, when you go out walking, um, I forget the lady's name, I said, when you go out walking with your dog, because you've already got the scene laid out for you, now you imagine finding a feather. You imagine your arm reaching down, you're now holding that feather, you're feeling that feather in your hand, you know what a feather feels like probably anyway, you can draw on that experience, you know how light it is how big or how small that feather is. You can even decide what colour that feather is. Put that thought out into the universe. Don't go back to it. Just let the universe respond. Don't even look for it. Something will grab your attention and you will just see a feather. That is your first manifestation from imagination that you have then just performed. You have the power to create. That is a very simple baby step. But we have to take baby steps before we can walk, before we can run. You have to learn to walk before you can run. And you do that through repetition. So even if you don't get it right the first time, try again. If you do not succeed, try, try again. Try. It involves three, mind, body and spirit. Putting the feeling into what you're creating, denying what the external reality is showing you and presenting yourself with internal facts that you create and you impress that upon yourself because you feel it to be real and it becomes real in this physical realm. That is the beauty of this realm. It is neutral. It will give you whatever you desire. So if you are desiring something negative or holding that feeling of want, you will be given more feeling of want. Because you have to communicate it. You have to talk in the language. This is why you have to do language lessons of the heart or something similar that gets you to the point where you are coming from the heart space. You are in the middle, you are in balance, you are operating from your centre, from where your avatar began, as that little first cell. And then you grew. Then you came into the light to experience this realm, so you can distinguish what is good, what is bad, what works, what does not work, what helps others, what does not help others. This realm is all a projection for you to experience and learn from. This is why we're all here. You have the power to create, but what are you going to create? 
that will depend on your experiences here and how you deal with those experiences and how you respond to those experiences. If you see horrific things and feel fear from it, well, don't be surprised if you'll see, you'll see more of that because that is what you are inviting. You are putting out a signal from your informed field of that is what you want. It is magnetic energy. You will draw the wrong energy towards yourself. We are all past masters at doing that, exactly that, bringing into our lives the things we do not want. But equally, you can bring into your reality, into your informed field, into your world, exactly what you do want, just by changing the polarity and writing your own script. I can put out manifestations and if they fail it is because I have not done enough work and I have not put enough feeling into it. I have been lazy. So I am not a bit surprised if I try and manifest something and it doesn't come because I've allowed doubt, I've allowed fear to creep in. But I am learning more and more to let go of all of that and replace it with a far more creative and positive energy that goes out and it is bringing in things that I desire, the things that I wish for, the things that I've implanted feeling into, the things that I've created as real in the, uh, the mind, which then projects out and magnetically the magic, for want of a better word, will just happen. Things will just appear, just like you will find a feather if you do that exercise. So to recap, hold no fear about the Phoenix event on May the 15th, 2040. Do not concern yourself about where to be. You are spiritually evolving. Do you really think you will not know? Do you not, will you have not have mastered how to communicate with the gut feeling, your intuition, that, that tutor, that teacher that is inside you? You are your own teacher and your own student. The teacher is only as good as the student, so how you respond to that intuition that feeling inside yourself will determine how good a student and how good a teacher you are. You are self-tutoring. Again, that is all part of this experience. So let go of fear, let go of worry. Replace it with more positive creations in your mind. How does that feel? Test it for yourself. Bring the reality that you wish. Think also on one final note. I hear the expressions of, they're not listening, they will not hear. Why concern yourself? That is a, that is a sign for you. To not waste energy. You can't save anybody the only one you can save is yourself and your avatar if you so wish they have their own individual journeys you cannot in interfere with their free will but as this spiritual frequency increases do you not think you will just vanish from their sight they can't hear you what so what happens when they can't see you this has been shown Archaic's channel has shown this in history where people just vanish, disappear, whole communities just seem to inexplicably are no longer here, like Enoch, and he was not. Different frequency, but still here, but outside of the perception of the current range of external five senses. But you are evolving and developing that sixth sense, that communication with your avatar, that communication with the external. 
So I hope that this has restored your confidence in yourself. So you can go out there feeling assured that no harm is going to come to you unless you import that yourself. You create the world around you by what you think and how, what, what you say and how you feel and your actions, of course. So it is up to all of us as individual sovereign beings to take responsibility and co-create and co-operate in this operative materialistic realm. It is just a training ground in which we grow. To progress. You already have that power within you. So I'm going to say love to you all and open up that dialogue with your heart and come from that heart space and let that radiate out and change the world around you. You have the power within you to do it. Ta-ta for now.